Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisse and today I want to go over the uh, Swiss Sen Senum? Senum? Uh, domesticated uh, goat. And uh, it's another mud by leaf and you know we love meat, leaf, <laughs> meat. We love leaf a lot on my channel. He produces so many and so good mats. So um, yeah, I, I I'm just in love with these, and it is a goat, a very white goat, uh, and I just thought it would be nice to go over it. And here, down here, we can see it's a female. Uh, sorry, uh, I just uh, made a video on the Holstein cow. And um, we had some issues in this area there, um, so that video should already be up now. So if you want to go and see that, please, you are welcome to. Let's jump into Zoopedia here again. The Mystic Goat with Zanen. Zanen, yeah. In in Danish, two A's after each other make a O sound, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's not so 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 then. Um, but it's domesticated and there should be 900,000 in the wild. I'm not sure when it's domesticated if, uh, if some of the mothers may put a number in here and say it's that mon that many there is in uh, households over the world or something like that. Um, but n when it's a domesticated, I assume it's only domesticated breed of animal. Uh, habitat domesticated worldwide so again this picture probably doesn't match timber tundra and grassland biomes and um, uh, 50 square meters of land for one adult they don't need water but they do swim and extra need 15 extra square meter and a baby need eight extra square meter they live from minus 7 to 50 degrees Celsius, so they will be fairly easy to keep no matter which biome you actually build your zoo in. Uh, create two fence, 4 feet 125. Um, so that would be around a meter and 40, I think. Jumping in here, group size from 2 to 20. There could be one male and 19 females. You can have a group from 2 to 8 males or 2 to 20 females. Males fight for the right to mate. Females have rank in group based on age. They are polyamorous, blah, 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 polyamorous uh, confident about human and humans can enter their habitat. The males grow to 90 feet, uh, centimeters <laughs> tall, sorry, uh, a bit under three feet and uh, the females grow to uh, 80 centimeters tall so that's two sorry three or four inches lower than the males life and expensive expectancy <laughs> sorry i have recorded a few of these today um <laughs> so my voice is a bit weird uh, 21 year uh, they live for they weigh around 80 kilos 160 pounds and 60 kilos the females 120 pounds they reach sexual maturity after two years and they can reproduce until the turn 15 they will give one offspring every 12 months that's one a year uh, goats can get twins or triplets but uh, one is the normal um, and they will be pregnant for six months and they should be easy to get to reproduce in captivity <laughs> no interspecies enrichment but <laughs> and just let's start with the big one they use these and I have seen one of them use them. I didn't catch a picture of it, but I hope I can get one for the thumb drive. I have seen one that jumped up here and up this way and went through this rock 
and then down this way. So I have seen it being used. Um, that's an issue I uh, get a lot with the Alpine code where they could use it, but they just don't. Um, but um, but bum. Can you just go back home, please? Yes. Then over here we have the two trees, the robbing pillar, uh, herb sand marker, and the grab ball. Food enrichment, we have the hingy thingy, the uh, scarecrow thingy, the ball thingy, the big barrel thingy, and the watermelon. I, I know you can't see it right now, but it's there. So, ready for our close up over here, and it's a goat. A very basic white goat, but it's working very well. Uh, you will probably see a bit up here where it looks weird and you can see it kind of looks like it's unfocused. Uh, I assume it's because the mother uh, being leaf really tried to make this more hair that the goat actually have. It's not wool but it's not fur. It's somehow in the middle even though it's shorter than um than wool would be uh, and i assume he really tried to make that uh, and some places like here he got away with that but some places like here he just didn't the eyes looks kind of weird and sleepy but some goats do look like that um we have the little uh, goatee down here the mouth looks good and the nose also look good with if you remove the fur on it. Uh, the texture here, uh, again, I think it's the same issue where he tried to make that structure that the wool had. Uh, my issue is down here, the tits. I don't remember what it called um, because the tits are just this part. This part had another name, uh, but. Uh, for some weird reason, it has the same texture than this have, and there shouldn't be... Uh, maybe a bit down here, a uh, very thin hair down here, uh, but out here they wouldn't be. The hoofs, and they are, they are pro probably not called hoof hoofs, that's horses, right? Uh, these, they have two toes, like the um, pig and like the cow. Uh, so that looks good. Something missing a bit there. I would like it to be a bit taller, but that may be compared to the goats I normally see. And this is a specific race of goat, and I'm not sure if I've seen that before. So overall, I will say it's a beautiful creature we have here again. Um, there's a bit of glitching here when it moves, um, but it's not anything I'm mad at at all. Um, it's actually, I would say it's not the best, but it is good. And now we got a baby out here and oof, I could, why wouldn't you just stay there? <laughs> Here and we got the little baby and it's so cute and I actually think the texture on this is so much better than the texture on the adult. The nose have this uh, see-through thingy you can see here when I move it. Do the mouth do the same probably? Not really but a kind of like there's a little piece between the lip and the and the the inside of the lip and the outside of the lip where there's a tiny piece there uh, and there's something in there that moves as well but again if you don't look at your mods like this <laughs> like normal people um, then it's not an issue um, yeah you can see here they are actually a bit bigger how I would it they should be um so all, all i actually think the baby is much better than the adult the chicks are so much cleaner 
yeah it looks better but again it's not a bad mod at all it's just the small things that uh, could be better and a lot of models have evolved over time and uh, I know when Leaf make his mod showcase he always take the new mods uh, I'm not looking for how old the mod is um, you can see it in uh, with the link I have below there's a number in it it's the number of mods in Nexus for Planet Zoo so therefore if you take a <laughs> oh that's cute Therefore, if you take a, um, what's it called, a look at that number, I think we're up to 1200 now. So if it's a very low number, then it's a very old mod, and if it's a very high number, it's a new mod. Uh, so you can see that for yourself. Uh, some of them get a redo with the updates, and some of them get just updated. Um, there's a bit it's how the mother want to do it and if they should remake every single mod every time there's an update uh, go back and work from the bottom of every single mod then they wouldn't have time to produce newer mods so um, yeah but overall good mod I'm fairly happy with this uh, I would like them to use the enrichment pieces more that's not only this it's also the other ones uh, they do lay down and sleep a lot, but uh, besides that, it's very good and uh, you know the drill. Like, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye guys.